I did tactical intelligence work for the Army. Uh, my last deployment was in Afghanistan. It's a hard thing to be, you know, a professional tough guy and then go to needing someone to help you on a daily basis to recover. I served uh, four and a half years. Uh, I was a combat engineer. I was injured, you know, I got hit by a, a roadside bomb. I was diagnosed with PTSD. I didn't have any symptoms when I was in the service. It was when I got out that some of the mental health stuff started coming up. I had hit rock bottom and the moment between choosing to end my life and not choosing to end my life was literally, well, okay, what now? Life hasn't changed, but I said, I'm gonna be here, so now what? And I literally got up and started walking because I couldn't sit in the middle of my kitchen. And it was then that I realized I had no idea where I was going, but there was something very cathartic about walking and putting one foot in front of the other, one foot in front of the other, hiking in nature. I think there's a, a, a sense of, of wildness that we have as human beings and reconnecting with something that's wild, uh, reconnecting with something that's raw, kind of helps us center ourselves. Nature has been a big part of my healing process. It just sort of relieves some of that anxiety. It's like you look around when you're taking a walk through the forest or whatever, and it makes you like feel like you're part of something bigger than yourself. You're no longer focused on who you are and who your role is in a family unit, inside your home, in a job. You are just who you are on this planet when you're outside in nature. There's a sense of shame when you come home and you're uh, struggling with anxiety or PTSD or things like that. I want people to know that you can get help. You can reach out and get help. And I think being in nature puts everything in perspective. No matter what I'm feeling, the earth is the earth and it is still solid and it is still here and that is safe. You can let your guard down sometimes out here a little more and relax and just really embrace the creation that's out here. It's beautiful.